Alright everyone, how are you doing? Welcome along back to a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about the possibility of great white sharks in UK waters. Before we get into it though, can we smash a big like on this video and if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe as well for more similar content like this. But now, let's talk about this. Can great white sharks be in the UK? It's one of those things that crops up every now and then about great big massive sharks being in the UK waters. With newspapers generally churning out some waffle like, oh great big sharks are here to grab your children or something similar anyway. But it's usually about great white sharks but we'll get on to why that's nonsense a bit later then grabbing your kids and that firstly let's try and discover if this is actually possible or is it just a myth can great white sharks actually be in the uk well firstly there have been no official sightings of a great white shark in the uk nothing official nothing conclusive nothing that shows any proof no pictures no videos nothing but that's not to say they've not been here or they can't be here on most maps of great white shark ranges france is usually the most northern point they'll go to before it gets a little bit too cold for them and in fact the closest a great white shark has ever got to the uk is in the bay of biscay about 170 miles away but again that's not to say they haven't ventured just a little bit more north to come and check out the sites of cornwall for example there's just no official recording of it and if it's only 170 miles away as the most northerly recorded great white shark that's really quite close isn't it let's take our mate wally the walrus for example in march 2021 he came over to the uk from his arctic home up there thousands and thousands of miles away and he even ventured as far down as Spain before he came back to the UK and he went off back to Iceland. Basically he decided to stay here for months and a bit of a Caribbean holiday to him anyway and then he went off again so that's to say great white sharks they could potentially do that so anomalies like that they do happen the thing with wally though is we can see him he comes on land he just sleeps and that the thing with sharks it's a lot more harder to find especially great white sharks because they go down to some really deep depths and sometimes with those the only chance you get to see them is a fin that comes out of the water that's a fin but basically, you get what I'm trying to say. They're a lot harder to spot. Now, it's also mentioned quite a lot that great white sharks can't actually live in cold waters. And that is just, that is not true. They can live in colder waters with minimal problem. They just choose to not, you know, they just, they want to be warm. So typically, you'll find great white sharks off the more warmer climates like Florida, uh, South Africa, Australia, for example. And I guess that's for the same reason why humans have warm showers and warm baths over cold showers and cold baths it's just nicer isn't it now that's not science based or logic based at all is it really i'm just saying it must be nicer and uh it, i mean it, it could be true i guess it might be has anyone ever asked a shark but anyway that's not the point has anyone ever seen what they consider to be a great white shark in the uk well yeah apparently i've got one who thinks he saw a great white shark in his fishing net you know we catch loads of sharks and loads of different species throughout the year um, so we're aware of what species are here. Over the years, we've seen with warming water temperatures that there's different species turning up along the south coast and unusual things that are appearing. Um, last August, we were out fishing in the dark um, in an area where we fish all the time and we had a, an encounter through a net that we couldn't work out what it was. It took the net away. We, we get Sometimes we get seals swimming near the nets and things like this, but obviously where they're big mammals, they'd usually just get through it or get round it not usually a problem this took the net away um, the second evening we were back in the same place um, and the, the the same thing happened in the same place um, in the dark we we're in a small boat um, we we're just starting to haul the tension went on the net the fish hit the net come round the back of us went up through the shallows trying to get up the bank round us and it was huge biggest biggest shark i've ever seen and it certainly looked like a great white shark he's had two encounters with what he believes to be a great white shark there's no evidence or pictures or videos or anything like that it's just his word and personally I don't know why he would lie. There's no, there's not really a reason for him to do that. But what we need to look at is, could he have mistaken the great white shark? Now he says he's been working at sea for quite a long time and they catch all sorts of sharks, which is absolutely fair enough. So I just want to take a little bit of time to actually tell you what is in the UK waters. Cause I think it might surprise quite a few of you. It might be a surprise to find out we have loads of sharks here already and there are massive ones too but let's talk about a few of them in particular that could be mistaken as a great white shark here's a baskin shark it's absolutely gigantic and it's got a giant mouth it's got a similar fin to a great white shark but it eats plankton here's a short fin mako shark it's pretty big as well and it's the fastest shark in the water doesn't prefer humans though here's a thresher shark it's a decent size and it's got a cool whip looking tail as well 
it eats fish. And here we have a poor beagle shark. Now this is basically a great white shark, but smaller. And the reason I think for many misidentifications of great white sharks in UK waters. Now there are about 40 other sharks that I could name for you in the UK waters, even including hammerheads, but for time reasons, I'm not gonna. It's just to get across to you that there are sharks absolutely everywhere in UK waters. And there's some absolute whoppers as well. So can any of those have been the fish that was in that guy's net? Well, it's entirely plausible. Mako sharks are big, they're fast and they're strong. And with that description that guy gave, it could certainly be one of those. But for me, the poor beagle is constantly confused for a great white shark. And if I'm totally honest, it's very easy to understand why. They're almost identical. Now, take a look at these two pictures. One is a poor beagle shark and the other is a great white shark. You can have some time to pause the video and take some time to decipher what is actually the great white and what is actually the poor beagle shark. And you'll probably come to the right conclusion. But the point I'm trying to make is though, you don't really get a long look when you're out in the wild. You get a snapshot of what you think could be a great white shark and it turns out, oh, hang on, that's a poor beagle. It's very easy to misidentify them. For your information though, this is the poor beagle shark and this one is the great white shark. Now, as far as sightings of great white sharks are in the UK, there really isn't that many of them. And there's definitely nothing to class as official. Like I said, again, there have never officially been great white sharks in the UK waters. Just basically people say and they think they've seen them. Now, a fella by the name of Richard Pierce has actually kept a log of potential great white sharks in the UK and sightings to go with it. And he only deems a few of them to be credible. In 1999, for example, off the coast of Cornwall is the main one. A group of fishermen were fishing and one of the fishermen actually had knowledge of South African sharks and in South Africa that's quite a hot spot for the great white. Now according to them a fish about 15 feet long was very interested in what they had caught and they all thought it to be a great white shark. Now the very next day something similar happened too. Two fishermen this time had actually caught another shark and as they were trying to get it into their boat a bigger shark came along and ate part of it. And then a couple weeks later and the most frustrating part of this series of events a fishing crew had reported finding a dead shark in one of their nets that apparently had a grey back, a white belly and triangular teeth and that all signals a great white shark but unfortunately they'd cut it away without bringing it on board. Now could that have been a great white shark? It certainly sounds like one but I guess we're never gonna know. Now, after saying all of this information, should we be scared of great white sharks in the UK waters? If you were to ask anyone slightly sensible, then they would say no. If you were to ask the media, they would say yes, definitely, you're going to die. And because great whites in particular, they just carry a fear factor, don't they? They're mean looking, they've got big teeth, and they're supposedly aggressive. And okay, they might look that way, but do the records actually back up any of the hysteria that surrounds them? Well, yes, sort of. Not really. Like, it's not the case that if you're going to go to Durdle Door, you're going to be chomped alive and that's it, you're dead forever. There's too many sharks there. Oh my God, rest in peace. Now, shark attacks are really, really rare. Like, stupidly rare. But the most common shark to do an attack is a great white shark, unfortunately, but it is still very rare. And the movie Jaws has obviously had a massively detrimental effect on how great white sharks are seen. That's really not done them any favors. It's similar to wolves and Little Red Riding Hood and the, the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. They just get this reputation that they don't deserve. But the media loves stories like this. It's big, it's scary. We associate this with Australia, the land where everything wants to kill you. But to get the clicks in, we need to tell everyone these Massive murder sharks are coming to murder us as well. Now, just to quash that rhetoric, I just want to point out, you are more likely to be hit by lightning than you are to be bitten by a shark. You are more likely to win the lottery than to be bitten by a shark. Now, you never hear of lightning coming over from Australia and it's going to murder us all. No, it's funny that. It doesn't really sell, does it? hasn't got big teeth. So I just wanted to point that out there, right? Shark hate, that's not the one. That's just, they're nice, all right? Leave the sharks alone. <laughs> but that's where I'm gonna leave it. So with all that said, what do you guys think in the comment section down below? Do you think great white sharks could be swimming in the UK waters right now? Have you potentially heard or seen about anything like this before? Have you even seen a picture, a video? Maybe you've got some knowledge, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Make sure you slap a like on this video and subscribe if you're new around here as well. And also, if you're interested in anomalies, I assume you are if you're on this video then i've actually got a series called animal anomalies go and check that one out there's like a card in one of these corners or something or just wait for the end screen i've been cookie i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching take care